How's everybody doing? Having a little trouble here tonight. Take two. Welcome, everybody. Come on in and join me for a few minutes as we mine our energy energetically together. Come on in and join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is part of my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show podcast. This is our live video energy focus for the week. We align our energy energetically. We look at the cards and we check out what's going on for the week. So yeah, welcome. I don't know what's going on, but nothing seemed to be working. So I definitely started over. That's what we have to do in life sometimes when nothing seems to be working. Take a pause and restart. That's exactly what's going on. All right, so here we are, busy weekend, all the holiday energy coming in. We've got that rebirthing energy, the resurrection, the re religious freedom, all of that all in this weekend with a full moon. So lots of energy, lots of forces pulling on all of us, testing us. I know for myself, it's been a little up and down, up and down all weekend long. But yes, I just took a really great long meditation. So I know for myself, centering my energy has been really instrumental in helping me along this way. So today we also moved into some Taurus energy. The sun sign shifted out of Aries, which is fire, and into Taurus, which is earth, which is all very grounding. And that's a really great thing for all of us. So all that fire pushing us forward. Now we're going to be able to take a breath, get outside even, the weather shifting, and really ground our energy, which is going to help you make some of those steps as you move forward in your life. And I know right now for many people, lots of shifts and lots of changes, which can feel very uncomfortable. I know for myself too, I'm feeling a lot of that going on for me. So it is taking me constantly returning to my breath, returning to my meditation, grounding my energy so that I can lift up my spirit. I know going through a lot of grief and change and everything I've been through, it is challenging. And maybe, maybe you're going through something too. And maybe you find yourself in the midst of challenge as well, wondering what to do. As I say, having a spiritual practice right now is really important. It's important for all of us. It's important for your sanity. It's important for your growth, and it can help you move through. So this week, we have really a lot of things happening, but nothing major. We did shift sunshines, as, sunshines, sun signs, as I said, into that Taurus energy, which is really also going to help you open up to really understand more about your own self-worth. All right, it's in that second half of house of resources and your possessions and who you are. So it really also reflects that back to us. Where is that self-worth for you? Now, it's a little bit different than confidence, all right? We, can, we really need to deal with that worthiness, not just confident. We can be confident in other areas of our lives, but we can still be lacking a little bit in the value of how we see ourselves. So we will be challenged this month to look at that aspect for ourselves. Really important. So noticing where you are, noticing how you're holding yourself up, how you're showing up, and really appreciating all that you've done in your life is really important. We all have mistakes. We all have things that don't go right. So we need to honor that as valuable lessons, right? And trusting the universe is really important to open up and understand more of who you are. Never is it perfect. Never, never, never. So really understanding that part of you and honoring those lessons as they come forward. All right. So this month, we're really going to see the energy of grounding ourselves a little bit better, trusting more of who we are, trusting our path is opening up exactly as it's needed to be. So as we move through this week, we're going to have a lot of energy that's going to help you just kind of take those next step, like be orderly, go through the week, do that kind of work as we move into, especially Monday and Tuesday, we do have some influences going on. We've got some Uranus happening, which we're going to see a little bit of maybe tomorrow you may notice that I am just going to do it my way. I'm going to do it myself. So we move kind of into that energy for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to have a little bit of that as well as like kind of like push and pull energy, that Pluto energy is going to come in. So we have all these little aspects coming up, nothing major, but things that are going to be shifting us to do our work, to move forward, to be diligent about who we are. And then as we come towards the end of the week, we're going to feel a lot of that release out of the moon. We're going to feel a lot of that release of energy as we slide into the weekend. But it is a great time to get out there, to do some work, to ground with Mother Earth. Tomorrow, especially International Mother Peace Day. Yes, definitely. To really honor Mother Earth, all that she does for us and all the support that she offers us. So we're going to see that energy as we come into the beginning of the week, which is going to be helpful. So it's a really good time to kind of do your own thing, work on your projects, be solid in who you are, 
Yes, it's good that we work in a group sometimes, but sometimes it's even better when we can step back a little bit and have a little bit of distance to really put out the work that we need to do. So as you go through the week, we're going to find that energy on Monday and Tuesday, making it a day to get things done, action. Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see that we really have a little bit more where we'll then take what we've done on Monday and Tuesday, bring it out into our group and into our work week and into our community with those around us. You may feel a little bit more towards Thursday of responsibilities of how you show up for yourself, responsibilities of the work that you do. And then by Friday, again, we're going to be able to take a little bit of a step back as we ease into the, into the weekend. So really important right now, grounding your energy, releasing some of that excess fire energy we've had, and really being open to really knowing that you can trust Mother Earth, the universe, and the path that's going on for you. Looking at your self-worth, knowing that you are worthy, honoring the things that you've been through, really finding gratitude for who you are right now is super important, all right? And when we find that gratitude, it does shift that energy. It raises that vibration, all right? Instead of always feeling in lack, I know for me right now, it's instead of missing my mom and my dad so much as I leave the family house, it's really like thanking them and being grateful for all the opportunities. And the gratitude will help to raise the vibration. Really, really important especially as we move through these times right now. They can be troublesome. Making changes can be hard. But again, tuning into that spiritual practice is really, really important. So the podcast this week aired yesterday, and it's um, it's an inner child meditation. And I find it very deep. I find it very helpful. And it will help you also, too, on the self-worth. Really loving yourself, that deeper part. It's that subconscious part of who you are. And it is a choice. It's always a choice. But finding the ability to forgive, to offer love, kindness, you know, that kind of thing for your own spirit, your own self will help you in so many ways, really will. It brings in a peace, peacefulness, it brings in contentment to who you are right now along this path. All right, so let's just take a moment and join our energies energetically together as we ground the energy for this week. Taking a nice deep inhale. Just take a pause, exhale away. Letting go of all the running around, calling back your energy, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth, pulling back, calling in your higher self, allowing it to align, calling in your spiritual body, feeling that alignment right on top of the physical body, calling back your energy, grounding with Mother Earth, taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale, sending that breath all the way down, centering the energy, slowing down for a few minutes. Inhaling and exhaling. And just taking this time to offer gratitude for where you are right now in your life. No matter what, good, bad, or indifferent, these are our lessons. This is how we grow. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Feeling yourself calming down and centering your energy, letting go. As we take this time and honor this beautiful energy of the spring, we honor in the direction of the medicine wheel to the east where the sun rises, where we plant those seeds of creations and intentions, and we anchor that in to the east as we honor all of the directions to the south, the west, the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, opening up, calling in your spirit, aligning that energy for your highest good, setting your intention for this week, allowing it to come right into that third eye center. And exhale, sending it out, releasing the attachments, releasing the judgments, just opening up to that energy for you. Whatever that intention may be, setting that energy out into the ethers. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Sending the breath down, feeling yourself pulling that energy in. And let us just take this time right now to ground. Ground with Mother Earth. Feel your feet connecting with Mother Earth. Opening up that first chakra. Breathing up from the earth, right into that first chakra, sending the breath up. And then exhale, sending it all the way back down. Inhaling. And exhaling, grounding your energy. Connecting with Mother Earth, dropping a grounding cord, roots deep into Mother Earth. Feel that connection, feel that strength come in for you. Inhaling 
and exhaling, sending the breath down, pulling all those many parts that have been scattered. Feel yourself really touching Mother Earth, opening up the first chakra to receive the abundant flow of life, that prana, that chi, that ki, breathing up from the earth. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Trusting this path for you at this time, knowing that these shifts and changes are all around. Knowing that raw energy is okay. Shed a skin, grow a new one, opening up to your path right now. Inhaling. And exhaling. Just feel all that energy aligning, calling back your spirit. We're usually out there way ahead of ourselves. Just for right now, finding the gratitude in your life as you open up to this week. Inhaling one more time and exhaling. Sing it down deep into the earth. Feel your feet on the floor, on the earth, grounding. Opening up to look at the cards that we have drawn for this week. All right, here we are. So we drew some interesting cards. So if you're just joining me now, thank you for coming in. I don't know what was going on with Facebook. I could not get on, but I am here on Instagram. All right, so the card that's interesting that comes up for all of us, our central influence for this week, is the Devil card. Very interesting card, all right? I like to look at this card as like self-sabotage. What do you keep doing that keeps getting in your way, all right? So as we go into a week of action, you may feel procrastination. You may feel that you can't get anything done. It can even mean that you kind of do a little bit of self-indulgent. And maybe you've had that a little bit this weekend with food and sugar and Easter eggs. I don't know, whatever. But that's the kind of energy that the devil brings up. So what are you doing for your own self that's getting in the way of you doing the work that you need to do? All right, this also could represent some addictions coming up for you. There's so many addictions out there, right? What is it for you? Addiction to the mind, to the thoughts? Is it addiction to food? Is it addiction to money? Is it addiction to shopping? What is it for you? And those are the things that we need to look at so we can move it out so you can continue to move forward with all this spring energy. That's the main influence for all of us, all right? So if you chose card number one, I love this that it comes right behind the magician. This is the, I mean, the devil. This is the magician card. So this is a card about shifting that energy and moving forward, knowing that you are the magician in your life. Really important. So the magician here has all the elements it's needed. It has this infinity sign right here, and it's looking to the right, and that is like a symbol of like action. I am ready. So this card will help you move out of this card, all right? So if you chose one, know that you're the master of your magician of your life. You're the magician of your life. Know that you can move forward in any direction that you choose, all right? I love this. Look at the yellow. Look at the edge of the red. It really does have a great force of energy. Know that you can do that, and that will help you definitely to move out of that self-sabotage. All right, if you chose card number two, this is the Four of Swords, and it was reversed. Now, this card reminds us that it's really important that sometimes we organize our thoughts, that we don't let them churn and churn and churn, that we breathe some breath. I mean, look at the Four Swords. They're different, but yet they're equally spaced. They're up in the air, and the Lamb has that little third eye energy that helps us to open up that energy. Now, because it was reversed, this is offering you the ability to take the time for yourself, Find the time for meditation. Find the time to clear the thoughts so that you can organize them in a more productive manner for you. Use the third eye energy as well. Sometimes when we have that organized thought, that's a really good thing. That's focus, all right? So the card was reversed. So if you drew number two, know that it's asking you to take some time out. Take some time out. Do some meditation. That will help you to organize your thoughts and get out of this energy again, that self-sabotaging energy. All right, if you chose card number three, we have the Seven of Swords. All right, this is also an interesting card, too. Again, swords is our mental plane. All right, we have the little fox sitting on one. So there's some energy that's a little bit hidden, that's not presenting itself. And sometimes we have to pull back in order to understand what that is. All right, this also can be seen as being a little bit aloof or a little bit sly, moving, moving secretly away from something. So you can be either way. So where in your life do you feel that or where do you feel that's happening for you? All right, I love the way she draws the lines. You're all coming to a point right down to the fox, which is sitting on that one sword there. So there is some information that may be uncovered for you, or maybe there's some information you're keeping back from others. What is it for you? And that also really plays into the devil card. Because sometimes this card can 
can kind of get in your way of doing what you need to do. And we have the secrets and we have that underlying energy. Yet, on the other hand, it can be good sometimes to pull back a little bit, sit on some of the information before you move forward. All right. So you can look at it at both ways, just really depending on where it sits for you. All right. So just to review for a moment, for all of us, it's asking us where are we self-sabotaging our life. Look at the red and the yellow on the feet, like stepping into it. He's not burning up. He's creating this energy for himself. So where are you creating that energy that's turning things upside down for you, that's getting in your way? Whatever kind of addiction it is, remember, we are in control of those addictions. So looking beneath the surface. The first card was a magician. You're the master of your life. You can create anything you want. All right? It's poised to move forward. It's got that infinity symbol. It's got all the elements it needs. Second card is taking some time, rearranging those thoughts, meditation, really organizing instead of letting it spin and spin in the chatter of the mind. And the third card was, what's that secret? What's that underlying element that you need to sit on right now? Really important card right now to look at what is beneath the surface. All right, so as we move through this week, getting out of our own way, really important, being active in the work that we need to do, get things done, Organize your to-do list, all right? That's a big one for me. Definitely need to do that and be able to move forward as well. All right, let me know how that resonates with you. If you're just joining me, thanks again for joining. Had some trouble on Facebook. They're gonna be looking for me because usually I'm on Facebook first, but that's the way it goes. All right, so the podcast, as I mentioned, was an inner child meditation, it aired yesterday. It's a really beautiful meditation I wanted to share so loving, so soothing for the inner soul, which really will help with a little bit of that self-worth we were talking about. I'm also teaching the Wild Unknown Saturday, uh, Sunday this time at Beacon Yoga Part 2. So come in and join us. It really is a fun um, afternoon. I have a Reiki 2 class on Saturday. I've got two spots left, so come join me as well. All right. Let's see. Allie, you're great. I think I had the same card last week. Did you get that last week? How funny. All right, let's draw one for you this week. Let's see if anything has shifted. We got the hanged man. All right, so this is also, too, asking you to look at life from a different perspective. Hang upside down, all right? We don't always look at it the same way. The hanged man also comes in to offer us patience, having some patience in our lives. When we look at it from a different direction, we do. We have to have a little bit of patience. Let the energy service and come up in a different manner for you. All right, let me know how that fits for you. Sunshine Daydreams. How are you? You may have a card as well. All right, Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. I love it. Look at that vibrant energy coming forward. This is a great time to plant those new seeds. Look at that passion, desire. It's going to grow. It's going to do it. Don't delay. Do something exciting and start something new for you. All right. All right, M. Solomit. M, you got an Ace of Pentacles. I love it. This is a new beginning for you as well. And Pentacles is our business world, our money. All right. So look right in the very center of that red dot. So there is a new beginning coming for you. Yay. And in the physical, the physical, the work, the business, the money, any of that aspects for you. Job wise, that could be that too. Yes. I know you know what I'm talking about. All right. Beautiful cards. Let me know if anybody else would like a card. Thank you, Instagram folks, for coming in tonight. I need all the new beginnings. Yes, absolutely. I know we do. And it's a time for new beginnings right now. It really is. But sometimes we can just get in our own way. And I know I've been fighting that myself. And thank goodness for my spiritual practice because I keep coming back to it. I did an hour meditation this afternoon. Made such a difference. So if you need help, if you need some guidance, reach out. I've got about five spots left for my Empowered Spirit program. I'd love to talk to you about it. Sometimes when we get a spiritual teacher and a guide, it really does make a difference. I've got some great tools. I can help you move beyond where you are. Definitely. Check it out. My link is in the bio to reach that. Also, if you need help in creating a spiritual practice, download my guide, free guide, five simple steps, working with the elements, fire, earth, and water it will help you to set up your practice. All right. Any questions? Let me know. Definitely, now's the time to reach out and to really open up to the energy that we have. All right, thanks again for joining me. Sorry about the little confusion I had starting twice, but you came back. I do appreciate it. Have a great week. Reach out. If I missed anybody, I'm going to give you another second or two. All right, reach out. You can always leave me a message on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great week. Happy holidays. Celebrate Mother Earth tomorrow. 
Appreciate all that she gives us each and every day. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.